Hey guys, so it seems there is a missing part on the video and my software haven't saved it, so I will show you how to do this. Uh, first, select this one. Press uh, cutter shift to select a cylinder and you will click here. Just like that, space and boom, you have this. You can hide this one. Now I will uh, add a screw primitive here. I will go in edit mode. I will just press G like that. After E, let's see, E, 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 mm, I can come here, E, and E, and do this. Select the two, press uh, F, and that's it. Select this one, press space bevel, and after I will add a new bevel, shift and space, and I will increase the number of, st of steps of the screw to 64. I will um, add a mirror. I will press O to pick uh, this object. I will click, bam, and my mirror will be from this object. Okay, so this part is correct. Now I will add this part. What I will do is to uh, call the cutter. I will press Alt because I want to create a new primitive. Alt, and I will draw something like that. Bam. What I will do is press Ctrl A and uh, apply a rotation because uh, that was turned and I will remove in fact, uh, in fa I will apply this solidify, I will remove this face and this face, inside face, okay? So now I will have uh, only this. What I can do is to align this to X, uh, 0, bam, I will have this result. In edit mode, if I want, I can make a little scale. I can select this and this and add uh, a bevel, so just like that, boom. Tab, select this and this, add a bevel, make it bigger, add some segments. Now you can add a solidify, you can play with the profile if you want, just like that. So as you can see, this object enter inside the other one, so what I want is to move it. And now I want to add a boolean, so just like that, add a boolean. Bam. And I made this, so this is pretty easy. You can move it here if you want. Let's hide this one. I will select this one, I will press shift to make an union on the cutter, Bam. and I will draw something like that and I will press space. So since this object use the uh, mirror in bisect, as you can see, I will have this kind of result. I will press tab, I will select uh, three and select those two vertices. I will press space and I will choose bevel. And just like that, I will have this kind of results. So let's press three. Now I will add an array and I will just press S up to do this. And that's it. You can, if you want, move this one here. And you have the same results as the video. And the missing part is okay.